All right, Toby. Hold on, buddy. I'll get to you in a second. So it doesn't look all wonky. Get this up here. Like that. I think I'm ready to go for the day. And that's turn. Oh. What is wrong with my camera? That was weird. The camera was showing everything was upside down. Hey, there we go. Got it. Got it on now. All right, Toby. Buddy, let's get you uh, rigged up here. Say hi to the people. Oh. 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 I know you're excited. Let's get the leash on, though. Oh. 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 All right. Got door opener. Run! Be free! Go! Go! Get out of the way! Woo! What kind of day is it today? Ah! Hey guys, Richard here with E-Bike Reviews and Adventures. What a beautiful day it is. Kinda. At least it's not raining today. It is cloudy though. So we've had rain for a few days. And I kind of really messed things up for me. But got two different tropical systems down in the Gulf churning things up and been bringing in a lot of weather for us but um, temperature is beautiful out here probably about 72 degrees I think it was today there's Tom I see Tom down there behind the tree he's painting a house yeah Tom cuts grass in the summertime he paints houses in the wintertime ah so so much to do here's a box I threw out here earlier I can't get to my trash can so I'm, I've resorted to when I got trash in the house, like an empty box, I step out and I just kind of fling it in this direction so it kind of gets close to the, box, the trash can. Speaking of trash can, oh my goodness, that's what, here's what's going on. That trash can is not going to stay there much longer. Um, yeah, we're going to do some landscaping and I'm working with a landscaper already to help me out, but uh, this tree is coming out. Pew, and some new stuff is going to go in over here. Look how overgrown this is. This is just a, it's a wreck. But we're going to plant a couple other big items over here. I'm going to put some pavers, <clears throat> excuse me, some pavers down right here, so the trash can can finally come back to the outside, and it's going to be hidden by a couple of large bushes like this, so it can't be seen from the street. And that's the rule here: trash cans can't be seen from the street. So once it's tucked up in there, it'll be hidden. And guess what? That's space, right? I mean that's almost space for a for a scooter maybe half a bike and right now space is at a premium hey got an update so <clears throat> today today we're getting a delivery uh, it's the bike that I, I really wasn't aware that was coming in I had communicated with the company and they said uh, yeah you know we'll send you a bike whatever whatever and then that was it never heard from them again for a while and now all of a sudden, oh, here's a shipping info. Comes in, you know, two days from now. Well, that's today. So, uh, I've got no room to put it. And uh, I woke up this morning to a shipping notification for the trike. So, I, I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I might be getting in another trike. And uh, from um, this Moon Cool, it's one of the Moon Cool trikes. But, uh, yeah, I hadn't heard from them in like a week or so, and so I thought maybe they just forgot or whatever, and I was fine with it because I don't have space, and oh no, no, it's on the way. It's on a FedEx truck. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Toby? What do you think? So today, uh, I've, got, so I've been busy recently, guys. I've been busy with a lot of things. Um, my back injury slowed me down. 
Uh, the weather here recently has really slowed me down the last four days or so. Plus, I've been working with some contractors to try to get a few things done that I'm not able to do myself. And so that's been tying up a lot of my time. And so I am so far behind on videos. So you guys are going to get inundated with videos, I think, pretty quick if I can get some knocked out today. But I got a contractor coming today. They're going to install gutters on the house. Because, yes, I live in Florida where we get a lot of rain. And these cheaply built houses, they didn't have gutters put on them. And my roof is like my neighbor's over there where we have the same style of house. So that's a huge roof and all the water just rolls off and lands on the ground beside the house, which isn't good. So, uh, yeah, should have had gutters put on a long time ago. But anyway, today is the day we're getting gutters put on. And uh, we are going to do, like I said, redo the landscaping around the house. So that's going to get done. The floors, you heard me talking about my floors. So I uh, signed a contract to have that done. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, Richard, why don't you just do it yourself? Well, I did. Uh, less than uh, about, about a year ago, I used the uh, big box store crap that is supposed to be good. Uh, you know, just do it yourself, paint it on, throw some chips on, call it a happy day. And, uh, yeah, I mean, then you get stuff like that happening. And I've got spots like that all over, and it's just all tore up. And so the next step up is like epoxy. And so you can use epoxy, which is supposed to be real hard. And that was the primo stuff to use for a long time. And, uh, you know, but that's, that's a little harder to work with because it's a two-part mixture. To, the, the good stuff is a two-part mixture. And, and you know, plus I'm, I have to scrub all this stuff off. And I don't have the machine to, to take all this stuff off and grind it down like it's supposed to. And so I said, yeah, well, we're going to let somebody else do it. So I had a few contractors come out here. A couple of them were jokes. Found a guy that I'm real happy with, confident with, liked working with, gave me a good price. So he's coming on December 7th. Yeah, so I gotta get ready for that. Probably about December 5th, Richard's gonna have a U-Haul truck and move a lot of this stuff out. So to uh, to do something with it. All right, I mean, I, you know I got stuff. I just don't know what to do with it. I'm, I'm at the point where there's just so much stuff in here. I, I don't. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to organize anymore. I really don't. I don't know. Last week I moved a couple of these shelves around to try to make a little more space out here and it, it kind of helped. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and I got a bike coming today so something's got to happen. I think I'm going to call my buddy Ron. He kept saying, hey Richard, you can park something in my garage and He's got family coming into town for Thanksgiving, so I told him, hey, you can take a couple of bikes and then go riding with your family. So I need to call him and have him come and get a couple of bikes. He wants to, his son isn't interested in this one, in the King Bull, uh, so I'm going to let him have that for sure so he can park it down there for a week and enjoy it. And, um, but I also need to finish up the video. Yesterday, I had on the schedule to take the King Bull to Alafia River State Park and do some trail riding, and I was going to do the review video out there. Of course, we had rain roll in a couple of days before that, and um, they they closed the park when it rains because it's just too muddy out there. So all that had to be put on hold. So I'm not ready to do the review yet. So, yeah. The fifth wheel, oh my goodness. I still haven't sold it yet. Uh, I had a couple scammers contact me, you know, guys, oh, yeah, I'll give you, you know, half price or whatever, you know, I'll give you $200, you know, whatever, and they're just going to go out there and turn around and resell it themselves, so I don't even entertain those guys, I just block them, I don't have to deal with them in the future, but that's for sale, and one thing I've noticed is there's so many e-bikes on the market now, um, you know, and, and even if you go to, like, Facebook Marketplace and look at used ones, there's just a lot of them out there now, and it's just going to continue to be that way. So I, Richard's got to rethink his strategy here a little bit because, uh, you know, because I don't do advertising, I don't get money from that, I don't, you know, I've pretty much stopped doing affiliate links because people don't use affiliate links. It's just a waste of time and effort. So with no income coming in, I, I basically do this for the bike, okay, because so, I get to enjoy a bike, I get to check it out, but then I get to sell it, and when I sell it, I, I make, that's my income. Okay, for making all these videos. But oh my goodness, they're getting harder to sell because the market's getting flooded with them and the prices keep coming down. And 
so I can't keep doing that either. Something's going to have to change because I can't keep doing that because, um, I mean, I've got to keep selling them because I keep getting them in. So, you know, something's got to happen there, but I got to figure something out because <laughs> I need to be able to, I need to be able to pay for some stuff. Yeah. And I don't want to make it sound like, oh, Richard, you got plenty of money rolling in. No, I don't. I, a couple hundred dollars a month is what I, <laughs> Richard makes off of, uh, um, you know, Amazon and, and I don't make anything right now off of off of uh, YouTube because I turned off all the advertising, so there's nothing. And even if I turn down all the advertising right now on my video with 20,000 subscribers that don't watch my videos, my video videos average anywhere from like, you know, 500 to 1,000 views or something, um, I might make a couple hundred, you know, 200 dollars more every month if I turn down all my videos. And so that would help. That would help. Don't don't get me wrong. And that might be coming because. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. I'm doing it because it's fun. I'm doing it because it helps all of you. <laughs> but doggone it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of stinking work. Alright, so let's I'm gonna move a couple of things around here. Again, every day it's a shuffle. But I like being able to walk through here. So I'm gonna pull this bike out. It's got a, a lower chance of rain today. I think it's gonna be cloudy all day, but I think the rain is is largely done and I think it's gonna start drying out I hope <clears throat> if you saw my uh, video from a couple days ago when I got caught in the rain we haven't done anything with this yet so um, everything actually was pretty dry on the inside of the bags when I was checking so I didn't have to worry about I didn't have to worry about uh, taking everything out like I thought I was gonna have to those bags actually did pretty well with uh, keeping things dry even though I was in a hard rain I just needed to wait for the bags themselves to dry out. And they have. Everything's dried out. <clears throat> but now, oh my goodness, now the real test. I did pull the battery out just so it could sit out here. It, it looked fine. It didn't look like it was wet, really. But here's a test. We're going we're gonna to do this test live right here on e-bike reviews and adventures. Watch Richard electrocute himself. Okay. So let's power it up and see what happens. With this one, we have to hit the power button on the bike. Then we have to hit the power button up here. Everything's powering up. Looking good. We have juice. We only have a partial battery, but it stayed on. It didn't have any sparks flying. What do you think, Toby? Oh, let's take it for a spin right here in front of the house. Whew. Well, throttle works. All right, get you up here. <clears throat> We're not going for a ride. Oh, that darn kickstand. I do that so often on this particular bike only, though. Hey, I think we're in business. I don't think we're damaged. That's good. Other than something is loose up here I noticed that when I was riding the other day look at my I'm, I'm loose down here so more maintenance got to get done I don't know yeah I often leave this kickstand or forget the kickstand because it's kind of hidden back there so far to the rear of the bike when I hop on and I forget to fold it up all right I, <clears throat> This isn't going to get fixed today. But here's the thing. I may have to change out this riser. I may have to do something different with the stem riser here. Because um, it doesn't, something just doesn't, doesn't fit well. And I noticed that when I installed it, that it seemed like it, was a, seemed like it was a little loose. Maybe I couldn't tighten it up as well as I should. But now over time it has loosened up and that's not good so i got to figure something out with that but i i don't have time right now there's too much going on if i take this bike out probably what's going to happen is i will just tighten it up again and then just uh, use it and do that for a little while until i can just make the time to sit down and, and actually fix it properly all right um Videos, so lots of videos need to get done. 
I'm actually, there's a Black Friday video I want to try to record here today and get that out today. This video might even come out uh, tomorrow, but the Black Friday video might come out today. But there's something kind of interesting that someone is offering. I want to I want to talk about that. Guys, I am, so I owe videos for Roll Road, uh, one or two riding videos for them still, and videos for, um, well, the ad motor. Um, they sent me that because I was going to do a 250 mile ride, and you remember that didn't work out. But I'm still going to, it's a still a good bike, and that's kind of turned into my primary bike right now. So uh, I'm going to be making more videos with that. Uh, the King Bull hasn't had its full review yet, but I just talked about the rain, so that's not done yet. Uh, the Ramat Link, I've had it out a couple times, but I haven't done the full review yet. And so I've got to I've got to get the full review done for those folks because uh, I've had both of them now for 10 days or something. And I try to get them done within a week to 10 days. But here's the sad thing, guys. I've got to do a video on this. Now, this is um, three or four weeks overdue. This brand is called All Powers. Uh, they are a power station uh, company that builds power stations, solar panels, that sort of thing. And they sent me this. And I told them I probably wouldn't be able to get it until like right at the end of the last month. Or maybe the 1st of November. And here it is the 16th. Oh my gosh, today is Mrs. Adventure's birthday. I gotta... Woo! Before she gets up, I gotta go to uh, get some flowers. Anyway, here it is the 16th of November. And... Uh, I haven't been able to get this video done yet, partly because I had my back injury that kind of messed things over for a full week. Uh, then this past four or five days, or four days or so, we've had a lot of wet weather and a lot of cloudy weather like today, so I can't even get out in the sunshine to try to make this video. So what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to probably make this company two videos. I'm probably going to get something done here in the garage just so I can get it done for them, but then do a follow-up video later on where I pull out where I pull out the solar panels and show you how how it works, getting it set up in the sun, how I char can charge bikes with it, and you know all that jazz. But <clears throat> that's overdue. Oh, yeah. And look. So this has been sitting here now for uh, two days. This is. I'll show you what it is. It's the quicker rack. Yeah. So I need to do a video on that and. Uh, oh tear into those boxes and get that set up and a lot of you are going to say oh man that is like the most expensive rack out there yeah yeah it is it's the most expensive rack for a couple of reasons one it's built in grand junction colorado it's not built overseas so that adds significant to the price um but i built i i purchased this one for a couple specific reasons even though it was <laughs> the very high end that's why it took me six months to make a decision about buying it because uh, I did. I sat on it for about six months before I finally decided to pull the trigger. But I built uh, I built it. Whew. I bought it because it's modular. It's lightweight compared to some of the other ones. It folds up easily. Um, so I'll be able to store it in here somewhere more easily than I can some of the more traditional racks that don't collapse. They're just real long and bulky and you just, you just got to have space for them. So that's the primary reason it's modular so you can add a tray for each bike so I only got two trays uh, but if I'm it's just me I can just put one tray on the on the rack or on the truck if I'm taking somebody else I can add a second tray I may invest in a third tray just because you know me Amanda Emma Devin uh, sometimes we'd like to go places and we're putting trying to put three bikes in the back here being able to haul four bikes would be great. Maybe three on a rack and one in the back. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Back to what was I doing? I'm not going to do a cleanup video. I think I've done en enough ranting and kind of giving you an update on what's going on. So I'm probably going to end this video here so I can start making some of these other videos that's got to get done today while I wait for the gutter people to show up. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, here comes a couple of dogs down the street. Toby hasn't spotted them yet. He's been getting a lot better where he's not barking as much. But he gets excited, which is fine. And these are little dogs, so he'll probably whine and whimper a lot. Oh, there he goes. He sees them now. He's on high alert. He's on high alert. 
Toby, you being a good boy? Yeah, be a good boy. Bye. Be a good boy. No, no growling. That's another thing. He gets real brave after the dog passes. So after a dog passes, that's when he wants to growl or he'll even decide he's going to bark at them. But he won't do it as they approach or when they're in front of the house. He waits until they leave. See, they're long past now and he's over here. Ruff. <laughs> you big coward. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Give me a thumbs up. If, I don't know, you got any value out of this video, you probably didn't. You're just listening to Richard Ramble because you're drinking your coffee and you had nothing better to do. Go watch the grass grow or something, huh? Um, it's probably a better use of your time than listening to me ramble. Uh, so, but anyway, if you have questions about anything, drop them down below. I'm still trying to respond to everybody. It's getting harder and harder as the channel grows, but I still try to respond to people's questions and stuff. Um, but uh, if you are drinking that coffee and you're only through a half a cup, then make sure you click on one of these videos right here.